One of the reasons why we get ourselves into financial troubles is just a lack of contentment mm -hmm. and, and our sense of expectation sure. regarding what will satisfy us and what we deserve. Mm -hmm. You know, if I have more things, will I be more satisfied? The answer is no, mm -hmm. absolutely not. Well, welcome again to the Straight Truth Podcast. I'm your host, Josh Philpott, and we're glad you joined us for this episode. Now, we'd love to have you engage with us on this topic, and you can do that by going to one of our social media channels. You can find all of those listed at our website, straighttruth.net. Now, remember that Straight Truth is a listener-supported podcast, so if you'd like to continue to help us produce this podcast, you'll find those details also at our website. Now, lastly, help us spread the word about the podcast, and you can do that by leaving us a review in the iTunes podcast section. Well, Pastor, our first question is actually submitted online, and uh, we get these from time to time, and they're usually good questions, and a lot of times they come in response to what people have heard in our previous podcast questions. So here's one about financial priorities in life. Here's the question. What should be our financial priorities when we have so many in our lives? We have to save for retirement, we have to pay down debt, we have to help our aging parents and families. We have to feed and support our families. Do we want to support the church as well? And how do we do all those things? And especially for a lot of us, it seems like we're not even able to do all those things. So biblically speaking, what should be our priorities? Yeah, we just want to acknowledge, I want to acknowledge out at the beginning that, I mean, these are difficult questions. They're not easy to, uh, to always know what's best. Mm -hmm. And so we need wisdom. And I, I think the beginning place for answering questions like these for our own lives, for whoever submitted that, as they think about the answer for their life, the beginning place is to make sure that Christ is preeminent in everything. I think about Matthew 6, 33, seek first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and his righteousness mm -hmm. and all these things will be added to you. Mm -hmm. And in that particular context, it's interesting because our Lord was talking about the very things that concern us. Mm -hmm. You know, what am I going to eat? Where am I going mm -hmm. to live? What am I going to wear? Uh, and he encourages us not to concern ourselves with that chiefly, preeminently, firstly, but rather to seek first the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. I think about Colossians 3, who are taught not to be mindful of earthly things, not to set our minds there, but to set our minds in heaven where mm -hmm. Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. So I would say the, the beginning place for answering these questions is to make sure that God's priorities are my priorities. Hmm. and that I'm trusting Him. So when I think about, for, for example, giving to the Lord's work, mm -hmm. you know, that's the one area, I was thinking about this the other day, it's the one area that, that the world cannot understand at all. Mm -hmm. All these other things that were just mentioned in the question, sure. we think about retirement, or we think about taking care of parents, mm -hmm. or, or any of the other issues that were mentioned, the world has its own sense of the importance mm -hmm. of those things, you know, some more than others, but people at least acknowledge on some level that those things are important. What this world doesn't acknowledge as being important is the advancement of the Word of God, the advancement mm -hmm. of the gospel. I mean, that is uniquely Christian, yep. that I would take my hard-earned money and invest it mm -hmm. in heavenly things. Mm -hmm. So I would say in terms of that priority list, I always wanna begin with my giving to the Lord. Mm -hmm. I, I want that to be first, because in that way I, I acknowledge Him as owner of everything that I have, I acknowledge Him as provider of everything <clears throat> that I have. Mm -hmm. I acknowledge that I'm going to lay it, store up my treasure in heaven, mm -hmm. not on earth. I'm, I'm looking to eternity. And, and yet at the same time, we want, to, we want to stress that our giving is to be planned, but also willing. It's not okay. something that I feel some external pressure to do. Mm -hmm. It needs to be coming out of my heart. I desire to honor God with what He's given me, and I want to invest it in in lasting things. Right. Uh, in terms of the other issues, the um, person who submitted the question mentioned paying down debt. Actually, one of the wisest things we will do is avoid debt. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he's right, we need to pay down, or she is right, we need to pay down debt, but we also need to avoid debt. Mm -hmm. And some of these other things we desire to do, like giving to the Lord's work, mm -hmm. we find are hindered by past choices that yeah, we've made. That's true. So one of, the, one of the best things we can do is just acknowledge some of the bad choices we've made in the past. Mm -hmm. They're not unforgivable. We go to the Lord, we acknowledge those things. Father, forgive me. 
that in some areas of my life, I haven't trusted you well in the past. Mm -hmm. Maybe I've tried to supply for myself. So I go into debt trying to get things that I want. You know, did I even want the right things? Mm -hmm. And then if, if I wanted good things, did I go about getting them the right way? Repent of the things that we've done wrong. Begin to structure our lives looking to the future in a better way so that we can do all the things that were just mentioned in the question. Mm -hmm. All the things that were just mentioned are biblical in nature. I think the one thing maybe I would take a little issue with is saving for retirement. Okay. I don't know that that's necessarily a biblical concept, mm -hmm. but I would say to be able to save to supply something for my children and my right. children's children, mm -hmm. that is a biblical concept. Yes. So so not the idea that I can travel my life away Build someday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But but take care of family, that, that's a biblical concept. Yeah, so I would say, seek first the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. I think about Proverbs 3, 5. Mm -hmm. um, right. you know, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. All your ways acknowledge Him. He'll direct your paths. We need wisdom for these things. Uh, but it all begins with having a right set of priorities. Yeah. And I wonder if you could talk about this topic um, with respect to maybe what Paul says later on, um, that with food and clothing, these things we will be content, about contentment, and maybe even as you address with Jesus, anxiety, yeah. which, which uh, Jesus addresses also in the Gospels. It's great, Josh. It's, it's a huge part of the equation. One of the reasons why we get ourselves into financial troubles is just a lack of contentment mm -hmm. and, and our sense of expectation sure. regarding what will satisfy us and what we deserve. Mm -hmm. You know, if I have more things, will I be more satisfied? The mm -hmm. answer is no, mm -hmm. absolutely not. Mm -hmm. And do I deserve more things than what God has seen fit to supply for me? I mean, if I'm working in the way God would want me to, making the best use of the gifts and abilities He's given me, and my priorities are right, mm -hmm. then I have to take what He supplies for me and be content with it. Yeah. And, and that comes from finding your satisfaction in God, not in things. Uh, Colossians 3, 5 speaks of covetousness as the that's sin of idolatry. That's right. Uh, that's yeah. interesting because it, it says when you put anything you're desiring, that particular context, he's talking about sexual sins, but he mm -hmm. goes on to list other sins later. Whatever it is I'm desiring that I think will satisfy me instead of God, that has become a God to me. Mm -hmm. So contentment is about worship. Contentment is about putting God in the place of God in my own mind and heart and desires. Mm -hmm. And as I do that, then I learn that, that these things on this earth are all temporal. They're all passing away. And even, even though they're important in terms of how I handle them, I handle them rightly only when I handle them in light of eternity. Hmm. So, so contentment is a huge part of that. And that also gets to the point of anxiety, doesn't mm -hmm. it? I mean, if God is God, mm -hmm. then He's sovereign, and He's good, and He loves me, and He supplies for me. And that's Matthew 6, right? Mm -hmm. To stress right. out over these things mm -hmm. is to act as if I'm my own supplier, mm -hmm. as if it all depends on me, as if God isn't God. So worship is, is huge in all these areas. Well, thanks again for joining us for the Straight Truth Podcast. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Now remember to please share this episode with friends and family, and you can find links to all of our social media channels again at our website, straighttruth.net. Now also, if you would like to hear sermons related to the topic we've discussed today, you'll find links to those in the description below. Now Straight Truth is a production of Walking in Grace Ministries, which is the preaching and writing ministry of Pastor Richard Caldwell. And you can find more details at Walking in Grace dot org.